one of the frequently asked questions that we get at trade shows or even over the phone in the, in the front office um, is about uh, does the chopped up uh, residue want to want to wash away? Well, um, we're growing corn here after soybeans, but it of course had corn in it two years ago, and you can still see a lot of the smaller confetti from the corn stalks that's out here in the field. So, you know, they've been here for two years and they they haven't washed away, but uh, you know, whether you have a, a big bean stalk or a big corn stalk at some point during its life, it's going to decompose and it's going to become smaller material. So inevitably, you're gonna have small material exposed to heavy rainfall. Just over the last two weeks, we've had four inches of rain. And you can see, even though it's small residue, it's still here, it doesn't just all float away and uh, the earthworms are, are able to eat it. But my philosophy is that uh, the smaller the pieces, faster the decomposition, the faster I can get it into the soil, the less opportunity I'm going to get hit by a big thunderstorm and, and have it potentially get washed away. So uh, I don't think that uh, rainfall and the size of residue um, are really that correlated because eventually this is going to be small pieces someday when it decomposes.